I want to do, what I really want to do today is, is, is one of the areas that I think, besides goaltending and face-offs, that gets neglected a lot is defensive play, individual, in particular individual defensive play. And I noticed that when we started coaching the youth kids and we did skill sessions for them, how little they knew. And what you hear a lot from youth coaches, even high school coaches, is everything's about your stick, checks, non-checking, doing this, with your, all about your stick. And we're going to be all about your feet and all about your body position. One of the best compliments I had my first or second year at St. Mary's, one of the coaches said to me, the kids are learning more about geometry on the field than they probably are in, in, in geometry class. We talk a lot about angles, and we talk a lot about um, positioning. Uh, angles, angles of pursuit, angles of approach, angles to slide, and where is your body? You, once they learn how to play the body position, then we allow them to check. All right, we don't allow them to check and so they understand how to, how to get the body in the proper position. And all that is footwork and understanding angles. I'm going to be very basic in the beginning and then we'll get a little more complicated as we go on. And this is all based on, we are particularly a sliding, helping defense. We, we want to take away certain areas of the field. We want to take away up feet. When a guy's driving behind the goal, we want to take away all upfield momentum. If someone's driving from above goal line extended, we want to take away the middle of the field. So those are two keys that we have, and so a lot of the drills that we do are based upon that. All right? Two drills that we do an awful lot, and they're sort of combined. The first one's called the hawk drill. Guys, give me two lines, each cone down there at that end, facing this way. Down there, down there. Okay, we call this the hawk drill because Justin Hawkins, when I coached the Naval Academy, hated it so much. We named it after them. And the reason why he doesn't like it is it really burns your thighs. So what they're going to do is, give me two lines. Okay, Charlie, you're going to go first. Charlie, do a little demo. Charlie's going to run up, break down at the first cone, sit, back pedal, and hit the next cone, sit, back pedal, hit the next cone, sit, back pedal, and stay down here. Okay, now, Coop, I want you to go. The guy in the opposite line goes when he hits the first cone. Ready? Go. Run up, break down, back pedal. Good, Brett, good. So we're going. The tendency you got, we use the lines between the out of bounds and the restraining line as our lines. We put the cones right down the middle. All right? The two things your kids will do wrong is to look for the line when they're backpedaling. Charlie, when you're ready to go back, go on back, okay? Go. They'll look for the line in the back. They can't look for that line. They got to keep their head up and see forward the entire time. This is as if we're approaching the ball below goal line extended. Question? This is if they're approaching the ball below goal line extended, all right? They're running up. Now, I want these guys to do a pretty good job. Now, the thing that they, you watch their feet, when we break down, we want the weight in our heels. You always hear an athletic stance, being bent knees, shoulders over the hips, hips over the knees, knees over your ankles, and the weight in the balls of your feet. We want the weight in the heels, because the first place you're going to go as a defenseman playing the ball is backwards. So if your weight's all forward, you have to transfer that weight before you backpedal. We want to maintain the cushion between my tackman and me. So if he's running at me, I need to backpedal. All right? Go again. Go. Run up. Let's hear a ball call. You hit the cone. Ball call. You hit the cone. Good. Charlie. You see here's going. Keep going, Charlie. And, and uh, Ryan. And Don, the first three guys on that side are probably our best at, and they do a lot of work with this. And then Jake, the monster. All right? So the yelling ball, they're, they're, and you, what you can do is when they get to that middle cone, look at their feet. Are the front of their toes all shoes stretched? That means the weight's in their balls and their feet. You want the weight in their heels. So going to sit down. Ready? Go. Let's hear the ball call. Let's hear the ball call. Good. Good. That's not bad. See number 10, his weight's all on his toes. You can see, look at his feet. His, his heels are off the ground, actually. All the weight should be in their heels. That's a very hard concept for them to get. Question is, do you want them approaching to stick out in front of them, or does it matter? It matters, but I don't tell them that a whole lot. Because 
I want them thinking about their feet, okay? Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drop, step, and run. So Charlie, show us how to do this. Run up, hit it square, then drop, step, and run. Get square, he hits the cone square, then drop steps. Okay, going back, Charlie, Go, going back, Charlie. The prop, two things they'll do here. They'll come up to the cone and not be square. I mean square here. They don't break down this way, they break down this way. The other thing they're gonna do is when they turn, the tendency is my shoulders don't turn, my hips do. So I gotta do this when I do. What they don't wanna do is turn here. Ready, go, Charlie, go. Go, go break down, see how his shoulders stay square so he can see his man. He has to be able to see his man the entire time. Hit it square, Coop. Hit it square, Coop. We're running now. We're not hopping. We're running. You see a little bit of, little bit of a karaoke steps. That's not what they're doing. They're turning their hips and they're running. Go on back. As soon as Matt's done, go on back. Good. Matt's looking at you. Okay, look forward the entire time. Go. Break down. Good. Good, Ryan. Good. Don't hop. Don't hop. Good. Keep square, JT, J, JQ, you gotta be square. Square, get square to the cone and then run. That's it, good. All right, so we'll do that. We'll go up and back, up and back, backpedaling, up and back, up and back, drop stepping. 